All right, so one of the things that's defined in the What's New in AutoCAD 2015 is how much simpler and streamlined the geolocation features are. So not having a lot of experience with it, I thought it'd be a good test to come in here and see how easy it is to use. So I'm on the Insert tab here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Set Location, and I don't have any uh, existing mapping data, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do from a map. And you can see here it's come up. Um, with the specified location wizard. Now a couple things that that happened before the first time I, I logged into this is that I had to accept um, the terms of service of using the online map data and I'm already logged in to my Autodesk 360 account so that's all good to go. It's also showing the last location um, that I searched for and I did a quick check before this because I didn't want to search for something that that wasn't available but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna search for my street address so I live um, in a small city in Saskatchewan Canada so I'm gonna search for the the address based on the street address the city the province and the country and we can see that it's come up and asked me for that location. So we'll just zoom in on this little wizard. Yeah, that looks about right. So what we'll do is we'll drop the marker in there. So you can see just like that, drop the marker in. So geographically located. Notice that it did extract the longitude and latitude based on the information. Um, and what I wanna do is set the elevation. Now it didn't extract the elevation. I did a Google search um, for the closest city. I mean, I couldn't find the exact elevation of Martinsville, but I did a, a Google search and found the, the next closest one. Okay, so I've, I've set the map location. I'm going to click next. And what it's gonna do next is it's gonna come up and ask for the Geo, GIS coordinate system. Now, I'm not a mapping guy, so this doesn't really mean that much to me, but I can see right here that it's telling me, um, it is recommending you select a coordinate system. It's close, but it is actually sorted already. So let's just pick the first one in the list. I'm good with the time zone, drawing inches of inches, drawing units of inches is fine. We'll click next. And now what's going to ask for is where I want to insert this. So the default 000, which works for me, and the north direction is 90, which also works for me. So I'm just going to accept the defaults. And what I can see, it's dropped that marker in there. And now what it's doing is loading the, the mapping data in the background. Now this mapping data just goes on forever and ever. So I could keep zooming out and it's just going to keep loading in more and more of that mapping data. Now I actually want the opposite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here. And what I'll see is that as I zoom in, whoops. I just wanted to turn off the grid, not switch to mall space. As I zoom in, it's going to get more and more details going to be loaded in. So now I can see that more and more details being loaded as I zoom into this area. Now, one thing to note about this mapping data is I can't snap to it. I can't really do that much to it. It is really just a, a reference to it. But the most important thing is that online map data won't be printed. It's just a background map. It just kind of hangs out in the background. Um, so it's there for reference. So that's not necessarily gonna work for me because what I wanna do is I wanna insert um, the outline of my house in here um, in the exact location. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna capture an area using the capture area. Now you can see viewport as well. So you could just zoom into the area and, and that viewport will capture the area. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a map image around this area. Now what a map image is, is really uh, an image. So what it does is it caches that data into this this drawing, so I don't need to be connected online, and it will cache it and will only update when I actually pick it and ask it to reload the information. So it's a true embedded cached reference of this. Now I don't really need to see the rest of my map right now, so I could come in here and actually detach it, so I could actually remove the location because I've got the mapping data that I want, but maybe I want to insert additional map um, images or um, change I'm looking at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the map data off for now because I don't need to see it. Now if I didn't quite get the area I wanted, you could just use your grips and just re readjust the, the image that way. But I'm okay with this, except I'm not really happy with how this image looks. So it's just kind of using the optimal resolution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and let's make this very fine because I'm kind of zoomed in really tight. And let's kind of play with the contrast a little bit and the brightness to kind of brighten that up a little bit. Okay, so everything's looking good. I got my map image. Um, you can see the location of my house. So next would be, let's go and attach that PDF. So we're gonna do an attach. We'll change to PDF types. We'll pick that PDF. Which page do I want? Let's just pick this page. 
We'll click OK. And what I'm going to do is drop that into close to where I want that to go. Now the scale here, let's just pick a scale of one. I don't actually know what this was drawn. Actually, let's not do that. Let's, sorry, let's insert that again. So let's attach that PDF again. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of scale it on the screen close to where I think it's going to be. Okay, so let's take this. Let's move this into location. Let's rotate this. I'm just going to eyeball it right now. Obviously, I could use other ways to kind of position it better. Whoops. There we go. Let's move it. And I've positioned it close to, to where I want it. So now I was able to lay over my floor plan, my house plan over top the geographic location. And since it's a map image, I could actually plot that now. So let's plot a window. Let's click. Let's click preview. And there we have it. So you can see that the, the new geolocation features in 2015 are extremely streamlined. I mean, it was like a two page process to go and attach the image. It's very intuitive to um, capture a portion of this as a map image and make changes to refresh it. And one thing I didn't show is the help system defines this as well. So I think this is definitely a win for, for Autodesk with AutoCAD 2015, because even for somebody like me who has limited mapping GIS um, experience, I was able to quickly and easily attach that map um, to my AutoCAD drawing.